Hello, I'd like to show that column rank of a matrix is equal to the row rank of a matrix, and that's equal to the size of the largest determinant in the array, which is unequal to zero. Uh, the proof is that m columns and or rows are linearly independent if and only if some m by m determinant in the column or row is unequal to zero. Also, since m was the largest size that was unequal to zero, m plus one columns rows can't be linearly independent because no determinant in m plus one rows or m plus one columns of m plus one by m plus one size uh, are unequal to zero. Oh, it's unequal to zero. As an example, I'm sketched out an arbitrary matrix array here with the typical element A, I, G, and pointed out two determinants that are the largest in the array. For example, the determinant formed by the elements at the location of these circles is unequal to zero, and also the determinant formed by the crosses, this three by three determinant, is also unequal to zero, which means that the rows and the columns to either of these determinants, to either of these three by three arrays or determinants, are equal to, are linearly independent. Uh, so the, the zero determinant and the x determinant are both unequal to zero, and the column rank is equal to the row rank is equal to three. As another example, I've sketched a, 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 an array here, one, three, two, two, six, four, one, 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 and the, its determinant is equal to zero because the first two rows are linearly independent. So the only three by three determinant here is equal to zero. Then there are two by two. Then I'm going to look at the two by two determinants in this array. So some typical two by two determinants are one, three, two, six, which is equal to zero, obviously, because this is twice that. Then the determinant one, two, two, four is equal to zero because this row is twice that row, or that column is twice that column. Another one equal to zero is three, two, six, four, because this is twice that. That column is twice this column. Is that true? Yes, yes. Uh, now, but there are some deep two by two determinants in this array that are unequal to zero. For example, six, four, and one, one is unequal to zero. The determinant is it, that six, four, one, one is unequal to the zero. The determinant one, three, one, one is unequal to zero. The determinant one, two, one, one is unequal to zero and so on. So any of these determinants that are unequal to zero determine linearly independent columns and rows. For example, 6411, 6411 says that these two columns and these two rows are linearly independent. Uh, 1311 says, 1311 says that the columns and the rows through these four numbers are linearly independent and 1, 2, 4, 1, 1, 2, 4, 1, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 1, 1, that should, that's a mistake, that should be 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1 is unequal to 0, so the rows through this, these two rows and these two columns are linearly independent and the rank is two because the largest non-zero determinant in this array is a two by two determinant. Here, the, la the, the largest non-zero determinant was a three by three determinant, so the column rank is equal to the row rank is equal to three for this array. I, I, finally, I should add that in general, this is not a practical way to determine the row rank or the column rank of a matrix because you can see that even for a three by three 
you get a whole, you get a large, large number of possible determinants. Thank you.